Welcome to this guide on how to create a queue in Orchestrator. A queue is basically just a container that can hold an unlimited amount of items. Each item that could be an invoice or customer details. So imagine a queue with like a thousand items. That could be a um, like a thousand invoices. And each item, that's each invoice, that could just be the invoice with the name, the amount, the pay, the date the due and everything. Um, like a thousand times, a thousand different invoices. Um, it, a queue is per default empty and you can upload data to it either through UiPath Studio or directly in Orchestrator. We'll get back to that uh, later in the video. As soon as the queue items are processed, that is added to Orchestrator, then they are called transactions. With that said, let's go right on to the video. Let's see how we create a queue in UiPath Orchestrator and how we apply settings to that queue. So first off, we go to Orchestrator, that is platform.uipath.com. Then we'll log into Orchestrator. I'll log in with my credentials. I'll just copy paste it here. And you should log in with yours if you want to do it on the side. And we'll log in. Under services, we click the service. And under automations, we'll click queues, and now we can add a queue. So at the moment, uh, we got no queues. However, we can add a queue. We could uh, call our new queue, new queue. Then we could add a description. This is just for your own convenience. That could be uh, like something you can, uh, if you got a lot of queues, you can use this to differentiate with the uh, between your queues, so we'll call this um, queue for example for my YouTube viewers. I rarely use this, but um, you can use it. Then uh, we got a unique reference. Then that is if we allow uh, duplicates in the queue items. And if we choose yes, then we won't allow any duplicate items. And if we choose no, we will allow it. So first off, we'll click no, and then we will choose yes in the next example to see what the differences are. Then we can choose to auto retry. And that is if orchestrator should try to uh, should retry to process items in the queue when an, an application exception occurs. Usually you will have yes here and uh, maybe three uh, retries. You can have uh, between one and 50 retries, that is uh, how many times August Raider should retry, and usually, yeah, between three and five. Per default, uh, all the data in the queue, that is um, on free form. However, if we choose, uh, we can choose to let it uh, follow a specific schema, like if we want to integrate with other applications. Here we can uh, browse and upload uh, different JSON uh, schemas. However, we won't uh, use this in this video. Finally, we can enable SLA predictions, that is uh, item deadlines. And we could uh, yeah, change this to three hours or whatever we want, but uh, let's just uh, disable this for uh, this example. Then we click add. And we can see that um, our queue here with the description um, is now um, appearing on the queue list. So let's click the three dots, view transactions, and we can see that there's no transactions in the queue. So let's try to add some um, the transactions. Um, and we are created a little process here in UiPath Studio. Don't bother uh, about this. It's just uh, for the example. I will get back to how we add queue items in the next video. So for now, we'll just click Run. And we'll wait a bit. Uh, the robot will run. And then we will add uh, 10 items to my queue. It's just a, a random queue. Uh, random uh, 10 um, transactions we it will we can refresh here and it sometimes it takes a little while before it shows up here it will show uh, in remaining so we can choose to uh, click the three uh, dots again view transactions and now uh, we can see that our 10 items 
are here. We can click one of them, like the tree it dots again, view details. And now we can see that we got a, a transaction ID here. And then we got like a, a first name, Lucien, last name, Sabak, credit ranking, and an ID. What this is, is just randomly generated data. And uh, I got 10 um, items and uh, with uh, from 1 to 10 an ID. However, we could have here uh, 2 with ID 8 because we didn't choose to have a unique um, ID, a unique identifier, so uh, that's possible here. I haven't uh, done this. And then um, we could um, go back and let's try to create a new queue with uh, the unique um, items on. So we will click add. We could call this unique queue. Um, description, we won't uh, choose that now. For now, unique reference, that is yes. So now there's a unique reference. And the auto retry will just uh, take three again. Click add. And we can see in a moment that um, it's added here and um, there's no items in it so let's add some items in it again don't bother about this uh, we'll uh, take a look at all the different settings at iq item um, in the next video so i'll just uh, i'll just do two things here and then we will add the unique this ready to run and we'll change uh, to the new queue the unique queue let's run it it will run 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 we will it haven't even started yet now it started we can see that here the robot um, UI uh, robot icon and sometimes it takes uh, a little while sometimes it just uh, do it like instantly today it's a little bit slow maybe my computer is processing processing some or it need a restart but um, it will run eventually so um, we will wait and there, I can talk a little bit about while we wait I can uh, well now we got it so um, now we added something to the unique queue that was uh, and we choose uh, to have a unique identifier and let's see how that looks so we'll click the three dots again view transactions and we can see that there's a reference code now that's the idea code we had before like the one to ten that's now a reference code and we cannot have allow um, two items with the same reference code then it will get rejected so um, yeah that was it and um, let's say that, uh, let's go back to the original queue, the new queue. We can even uh, monitor the queue. Here we can see um, when we start to transact, uh, the process, the, the transactions, we can see uh, what's happening. And um, But right now there's nothing to show, of course. But uh, we'll get back to that in the next video or the next next video. We'll take a look at all the charts and everything. So. We can, yeah, we can see here there's 10 unprocessed items. That's quite uninter uninteresting, but um, you get an idea how uh, the monitor is. So we go back here, and that's it for now.